Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. Um, I got, I don't know, maybe a, a little rant and a little story or something. I'm headed to the beach to have dinner with one of the Jeep rats. Um, his rent took him down there to get get wet. So we're going to head down and I think we're going to hit one of the seafood places down here. Anyway, uh, yesterday, I went to Sonic. I was I was going to try their their pickle slushy. It's it's got me intrigued. So I ordered it, and uh, I waited a half hour, and it never showed up. I mean, I just wanted a drink, you know. Uh, it was supposed to be their happy hour, and it was reduced price. So you know, my drink was like a dollar. 89 cents or something like that. I don't even remember. But I waited for a half hour and they never came out. I was I was aggravated. It was too hot to make to be messing like that. So I was just like the heck with it and I split. So then last night I had to go to the bank and my bank is right there at Burger King. And I was like, well, okay. So I stop in a Burger King and I order their uh, sourdough king with the, the bacon and Swiss cheese and all that. Uh, sandwich and onion rings. And they said, do you want a single or a double? I was like, well, just give me a double because, you know, my mouth doesn't open real wide. So just give me a, or just give me a single. Okay, so I get up to the window and waiting and waiting and waiting. They had to, they had to drop the onion rings. I was like, okay, I mean they came and told me, and waiting and waiting and waiting. And they're like, we're still waiting on the onion rings. Okay, I mean it's only like five minutes or six minutes all, all told, so it wasn't a major big deal. Anyway, I get out into the parking lot and set up and get ready to eat, and it's like, my goodness, that's a big sandwich. I mean, it was, it was a handful. Somehow they had messed up and given me a double. <laughs> I, I only paid for a single. So I guess in the long run, I kind of evened out yesterday. So, uh, some of y'all keep asking about, you know, stories from my youth and whatnot. Let's go to, uh, I, as you know, I do, I'm a curb shopper. You know, I, I watch that trash picker, dumpster diver, whatever. Um, my eyes are always watching. In fact, I don't know, one day last week, uh, I was coming around from behind Walmart, and it was a overflowing tra uh, dumpster behind Ross, the clothing store. So I stopped and looked, and there was like bags and bags of folded clothes. Okay. So I grabbed two big old bags and it, it filled the back seat up like to the roof. I took them over to my daughter and said, here, I got a deal for you. You go through these, post them online, and we'll split whatever you make. So, so far I haven't heard anything back about what she's made or if she's act. I know she went through all the clothes and refolded them and there were some, there were some nice clothes in there. So, but it, this is something that I mean it's in my blood it, literally my, my dad's my dad's dad my grandfather had his own trash hauling business where I grew up in, uh, in New Jersey down on the uh, Island Beach um, Seaside Heights Seaside Park Whitley Beach that area and uh, Grandpa had, had his own hauling company trash haul you know, that he contracted out with, and then eventually he ended up working for the township. And uh, but it's always been something, you know, because you can never, you never know what you're going to find. I can remember. Oh, I don't remember how old I was. I still, we were still living down there, and I had a paper route, so I had to be 11 or 12. You know, I had a, a big old, well, they call them beach cruisers now, but a big old huffy bike with the. the huge basket on the front 
and the, the two big the two big saddlebag baskets on the back and anyway I, I finished my route and I was on my way home and there was a bunch of stuff on the side of the road I stopped and there was there was a huge old chest full of tools old style tools even I mean even back then I mean we're going back I'm 60 years old so you know we're going back 50 years and even then they were old style tools and uh, there was a bunch of other stuff there too that I grabbed and brought home. I had my bike loaded down. I mean, I could barely pedal it. I get home. But so you know, this is something that, that's been lifelong for me. Um, when the kids were little, another thing that I like to do, of course, is to go out and just ride around. And it, I don't have to have a destination. It's just getting out of the house. You know, go out and ride around. So that's what we would do. We would go out and we would ride around in different neighborhoods on trash day or whatever and, and look through the you know, look through what people were throwing out and you I mean you'd find bags full of toys or it looked like you know mom was like clean your room or I'm gonna throw everything out. And when the kids didn't clean their room she threw everything out. Because there'd be, you know, two or three big trash bags full of toys. And when you go through it there'd be like almost the entire you know, like almost every one of them had the, had the full set of toys there to go with it. So, or you find, oh, I found all kinds of crazy stuff. Packages that you know people get for their their uh, their wedding. You know, stuff still in still wrapped in the plastic. Chinette sets and, and glass sets and. A silver tableware chased in gold and I mean we actually found a we picked up a really nice uh, roll top desk it was an older style desk it was really nice and uh, we got back to the house and we figured we'd clean it up a little bit we started going through it and it, under the, the big center drawer under the, the main part of the desk we lifted up a panel and there were two folded sheets of $100 bills. Uncut folded sheets of $100 bills. I thought we'd made, I mean, that, that was the golden score, you know? Um, but it just, it gnawed at me, it gnawed at my, it gnawed at my energy, it gnawed at the, at the old Miss. We just, we couldn't do that. Uh, we went back, we, we remembered where the house was, we went back and we knocked on the door. And we asked about the desk. And they were like, oh yeah, it's no problem. You know, blah, 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 Granny had it, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, yeah, but did, did Granny like collect anything? Oh yeah, she was into coins and blah, 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 blah. It's like, well, uh, it pains me to tell you this, but, and we went back out to the truck and I got those two folded sheets. And I don't remember how much they were. I, I think a sheet has 20, 20 bills on it. Correct me if I'm wrong, I, I really don't remember. And I didn't look it up, but. Um, so I guess that's a 20, Hundred dollar bills, like two thousand dollars. We had two of them, so that's you know that's like four thousand dollars. That's a that's a payday. You know what I mean? But um, I couldn't do that, so we gave it back. They gave us forty bucks. It was all the guy had in his pocket. He was he was like amazed that we had actually brought it back. I wasn't even expecting the, the forty dollars. I just couldn't have kept that money in good conscience without having gone back and tried so you say that you know I find amazing things on the trash I have been doing this for as long as I can remember like I said I've been you know nearly 50 years probably more um, it still amazes me sometimes the stuff I can find so the other day I found another second bicycle I found now in three months I guess something like that um, the first one all I did was pump the tires up and it worked fine I oiled the chain and it it rides nice it doesn't need the gears adjusted 
It's also a heavy bike, I think. It's big, thick tires, and I don't need a trail bike like that. It's not that strong. Uh, but this one that I found the other day is a little bit lighter. I did have to go out and buy a tube. Five bucks for a 26-inch 10-speed bike? Yeah, I'll do that all day long. I took it out and gave it a test ride this afternoon. 102 degrees. <laughs> that wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done. Let me tell you what. But I didn't go far either. I just went up to the end of the street and back. Make sure that the tires were pumped up enough and that it shifted gears. And uh, I don't know if I'll keep it or sell it. I have, I kind of like, kind of want to keep it. I got a rack to put on the back of it, and some saddlebags. And I don't know. We'll see. So I'd really like to get a set of high-rise bars and put on it, maybe. I don't know if that's doable. Oh, excuse me. Without changing the brakes and all that other stuff. Anyway, I am down here at Jacksonville Beach now. I am almost to the destination. And uh, I figure I'm going to just go ahead and that's about it. Let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Y'all can leave me a comment wherever it is. Y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around on your social media, that would be Fandoculus. If you'd like to check me out on Facebook, there is a link in my description box or in the description box. You'll also find a link to, like, my... My uh, Gmail and all the other stuff. I seldom answer it. Um, whoop, 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 whoa, Bubby, whoa. All right. Yeah, you go right on through that red light. I'm not. Um, oh yeah, I, I, you know, I, I seldom answer my Gmail, my Gmail or any of my email accounts. Um, If, if, and even messages sometimes on, on here on the message system, you know, the private messaging on, on YouTube. I don't always get those either until way down the line. But uh, I appreciate each and every one of y'all that that do that. And if I don't get to you, I'm not I'm not really ignoring you. I just it's something I don't think about all the time. So and if you want, if you want to leave me a message, then leave me a message on my video. That you left me a message and then I go check it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm working on 700 subs, which is, I don't know, that's unbelievable to me. I'm working, I'm coming up on two years now on YouTube. Um, and 700 subs. I love y'all. I, I truly do. It, it, it amazes me. But um, anyway, I would. A giveaway going when I hit 700 subs. Uh, awesome Buttons was nice enough to give me an awesome button to give away. Um, since I have a two year anniversary coming up, I'm going to figure out what I can do for that too. All right. Whew. All right. Well, uh, cancer is an insidious disease, people. Um, it doesn't care who you are, what gender, your age, your financial status in life. Um, breast cancer affects men and women, young and old. So, be proactive. Just, you know, if something doesn't feel right when you're taking a shower, um, go talk to your doctor. I mean, you know what your body feels like. Go talk to the doctor. As, as, as hard as that is for a man to do it's better than looking at the wrong side of the grass you know what I'm saying so if your loved ones are nearby give them a kiss and a hug if they're not give them a call hit them up on Facebook let them know you think about them let them know you love them we're not promised tomorrow people until I see y'all again hope you have a fandoculous day slouchy y'all <laughs>